Good afternoon, today is May 7th, and today I'll continue to be talking about the coronavirus. So the first piece of news that I'd like to talk about is that a national survey found that while both parents are stuck at home, women are disproportionately uh, doing a large share of the extra work, including childcare and homeschooling, even though they are working full-time and their spouses aren't. So this is kind of just saying that and while and still even though that the and still men are saying that they feel like they are doing most of the work but obviously uh, if you look at the women it's not the case and years of research has found that men often overestimate their workload so this is amplifies a problem which women do most of the work at home even though they may be working full time and this could this just might be cultural expectations and personally i think this is just um this is a problem because women often choose careers that perhaps make it easier for them to take care of their children and homes and it also leads to why women of at the weight labor force right now are more often uh, laid off because women's work are often even though they may be essential uh they still have to take care of their children and house and i feel like men at this point should really just do more of the housework take care of the children and instead don't just like uh sit around the house or like do something to help your spouses obviously because they are not only sometimes not I don't know how they're working, they are also taking care of the children. So the second thing that I like to talk about is that llamas might might be the next hope for a vaccine or antibody test. So llamas have become their antibodies have shown results in the clinical in cell cultures to battle the COVID-19 virus and they uh, realized that they can effectively inhibit the virus and researchers are hoping that the antibody can eventually be used as a treatment by injecting someone who is not yet infected to protect them from the virus almost like vaccine however the treatment's protection would be immediate and it would do but its effects won't be permanent with lasting only a month or two without additional injections so now I'd like to uh, explain how this happens. So what happens here is that human antibodies have uh, pro two protein chains, heavy and light, that together form a Y shape. And llamas, on the hand, produce two types of antibodies. One of these, those antibodies is similar in size and constitution to human antibodies, but the other is much smaller and only about 25% of the size of human antibodies. So this smaller antibody can access tinier pockets and crevices on spike proteins. So spike proteins are on the viruses to allow them to infect host cells such as us and that human antibodies cannot. So basically these small antibodies can inf can go into the basically the virus and neutralizing neutralizing the viruses. So the llamas antibodies are also easily manipulated and they can be linked or fused with other antibodies including human antibodies so that the and and they can also remain stable despite these manipulations. So this is while llamas are not the only animal for example sharks do also have these kinds of uh, antibodies obviously llamas are much uh, friendlier than sharks and so this is just an interesting treatment that llamas might be the hope for us in the search for a vaccine or antibody treatment so the third thing that i like to talk about is that a new study for relying on an antibody test uh, which has a less than 1% chance of false positives, have found that even everyone who gets the disease eventually makes antibodies to the virus. So there was also uh, there was always a worry that only some people, uh, or for example, only those who are severely ill, might make antibodies. 
Uh, however, the level of antibodies sh shown is not do not differ by age or sex from the study done by researchers. They tested 624 people who signed up to, signed up to be potential donors for uh, antibodies, and at first. The test showed that uh, some did not have antibodies, but a week later, when their symptoms subsided, they found that they eventually did have some antibodies. And this suggests that the timing for testing for antibodies can greatly affect the results. So maybe if you're going to be tested, I suggest that you perhaps go when your symptoms almost uh, subsided and you're like on, on the road to recovery. <laughs> Uh, so the next step now, I think, is that to confirm the pre that the presence of antibodies can translate to protect from the virus. And the, the question now, I think, is just what extent these are neutralized the antibodies and whether that leads to protection from infections. Because obviously, antibodies are produced by the immune response to stop the disease from occurring again. And that just leads to a reassurance that everyone who gets the disease will be immune to it. Uh, and so that really does relieve some people and that people who get immune can rejoin the workforce. So thank you for listening and I hope you have a good